Good morning guys, today we are going to cook something like a Filipino food. I don't exactly know what is the name of this but this is my idea. It's uh, coming from um, guineling but because I don't have the things for guineling um, I am just using the usual vegetables that I found in the grocery. So I have this uh, mixed vegetable. Basically, this is garlic, onion, green bell pepper, potato, and tomato. Yeah. What is that? I think something in here. <laughs> I also have here a burger patty. You can see it's a frozen burger patty. And I'm trying to break it like this, a smaller size. And as much as I can, I'm, I wanted to make it really, really fine from the original that is uh, 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 pined, yeah, chop. What's that? Grounded. <laughs> when the, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> so, yeah, basically. But I don't have a big pot or big. Uh, yeah, I have just this. I think it will works. Yeah. And let's just switch it on. You know, the very basic soy sauce, salt, and black pepper. I am not sure if I'm going to put this, but you know, we can experiment. And this is a fish sauce. Also, if I'm going to put a tomato sauce, I have this uh, tomato sauce, roasted garlic, tomato and onion, tomato sauce. And yeah, I also have some beef cubes and chicken cubes here. Yeah, this is the kind of beef cubes they have and it's muscle gluten free. Yeah, I didn't found any, you know, the usual, uh, the things that we know in the Philippines and in Dubai, the Nor chicken cube, Maggi chicken cubes, Bip cubes, Nor brand, no, it's not popular here. This is what they have in here. And <laughs> I don't know, I'm showing you everything that I have in the kitchen. I have this uh, tomato spaghetti sauce. Yeah, this is a Filipino style spaghetti. If you don't know, Filipino spaghetti is sweet. And yeah, as a matter of fact, I prefer that Filipino spaghetti than the original Italian one. I like the sweet things about the Filipino spaghetti. I think that's all the ingredients that, that I have here. So let's start. The ground beef is still a little bit frozen, so I'm going to put it first uh, until it's become uh, defrosted and a little bit cooked. It is now a little bit noisy because of the exhaust fan. I don't know how this exhaust fan works. Look, if you open here, there is no access going out for the air. I don't know. I don't know how this how this works but you know in the restaurant there is big exhaust fan that goes out of the building right here just like this yeah anyway it's just making noise so so it's almost almost separate each other it's again grounded i'll be transferring it first to one container and then the very basic i put the and the first the garlic oh the oil is not yet hot yeah, we can actually put everything now I'm going to put some salt and yeah, this looks like a salad and by this time, I'm going to put this meat. 
the vegetable is not totally uh, cooked. We have some salt again. And by this time, I am going to put the soy sauce. Be careful when you put the soy sauce and the salt because both of them are salty. Okay, we put some uh, tomato sauce. I just put two spoon of tomato sauce. I want to put some water. And I will leave it like that until it's uh, cooked. Yeah, it's good. The vegetable is still a little bit uh, hard, so maybe a little bit more. But you know, the taste is uh, just perfect. I like it. Uh, I don't know if this is a tagine or some kind of... I don't know, but basically this is my idea. is to make a Filipino food. The taste that is approved for the Filipino taste for the mass, the masa <laughs> and yeah you know because in the Philippines we have this uh, kind of food that we call caldereta sarciado adubo mm, there are so many and and you know what? I don't know how to cook most of them. And I can't even identify which one is which. Which one is uh, caldereta, which one is sarciado. Yeah, I'm just familiar with those, uh, my favorite. Just like a kiniling, adobo. Yeah, I know those things. But the rest of the Filipino food, especially the meat, I don't know, my. I just work here. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. And this is going to be good for maybe five days, one week. I will just keep it in the freezer. I will eat first and then the rest will be stay in the freezer. And will be good and they will be ready to eat whenever I want. I just keep it frozen, defrosted, reheat. And will be my meal. Hey, it is now. What time is it? I don't know. I don't know what's man. Yeah, the time now is 11:30, and today I am going to work at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I mean, I start my duty at 2 o'clock, so by 1 o'clock I should be out of the house. And yeah, let's go and eat with this one. Beep and rice <laughs> hello guys good afternoon yeah i'm going to work now it's a little bit raining look at the sky it's black uh, yeah it's almost it's actually raining but not too much i have my umbrella in my bag but yeah i will take it out when it gets heavy yeah today i am going to work by just walking and then I will catch the bus on the other side yeah I hope the rain will not be heavy by the time I am walking going to that side you know here in the night when I reach that place my bicycle stops there because I'm already tired from that side to get here it's uphill and I'm already tired to get here and when I'm walking here having my bike I'm I'm scared because I feel like there is a people behind me that's going to stop me anytime <laughs> but that's just in my mind and you know in the night when I reach this place there is a uh, lights that's switching on in by itself in this area in this house yeah there's a security lamp the time now is exactly 1 o'clock in the afternoon and I was waiting there for the bus but the bus is coming in 6 minutes but 
I changed my mind. I still prefer to walk, so I will be walking. I have one hour to get to work. Yeah, my duty will start at two o'clock, so I think that is just enough. Because you know, if I take that, if I wait for that uh, bus, the bus will just travel for maybe 10 minutes and I'll be at work. And then I have nothing to do there. So yeah, I will just uh, walk. So I am going to see a lot of things along the way. This small rain is gone, so it is okay to walk. Look at this. You know, these houses, they are improving this. And then they are going to sell it to more expensive price. Yeah, I've seen the, you know, TV program yesterday and that's how they do it. There is no sidewalk on the other side, as you can see. But in this side, there is a sidewalk. That's why I'm passing in this way. And you know what, on my first few days here in my apartment, I was biking in the night, I was biking going uphill here. And then I also go uphill on that side. It's really, really tiring. And then I try to find another way, alternative, and I go straight there, and then I go on that side. That is the way that I am using now, because that is a little bit easy. So the same like with the previous vlog, I go through this way. Yeah, but with my bicycle, yeah, my bicycle is at work, so that is what I am going to use tonight. I hope there will be no rain tonight, because I will be taking taxi again. You know what, there are three ways to go to work. One is the other side, the normal road. Yeah, with the, I usually uh, pass with my bike, and of course, this one that is also going through my work which is inside the park and of course the other one also is the shoreline you can actually i can actually go through the shoreline going to work but of course it's a sandy and muddy and watery so <laughs> that's one leave that for the swimmer there are so many birds everywhere you always get to hear the sound of the birds this is the one that I'm telling you that will also brings me to my workplace if I work here, if I walk in here, but not today. That you know, know that you make me believe, I want you to take me. I don't know if there is access in this way. Let's try. I hope this is not private. Wow, nice house. Oh yeah, nice. This is not. Yeah, this is open beach. Look at this place. Looks very beautiful, huh? You know, in the future, we are going to go to that mountain. I promise to you. Look at this house. They have a swimming pool. And then there's a beach in here. Amazing, huh? Rich people lives in this place. Wow. I hope I'm not trespassing. I get down here in the sand. Look at the sand. It looks very, very clean. Wow. And my shoes is not getting down. Just awesome, huh? Look at these backyards of these houses. These are expensive vacation house. I think people, some people lives there. Wow. Beautiful. Up 
place like this is good only sometimes for me. That backyard is a little bit uh, look complicated, so we are not going to pass through that way, and uh, we will go through this, uh, yeah, the roads. Maybe we will get to be trespassing if we go through there. Yeah. And now we are going back again to the shoreline. Yeah, here. This is another backyard of those of these houses. Look at this a flowery, too much flower here. And I reached this place. Yeah, the same. I still have about uh, 30 minutes, so I will be staying here first. 